Hi, thanks for joining Art and me on a new series we're calling Gray Matters. Get it? Gray Matters? Gray, gray Matters? Okay. Anyway, listen, the whole idea of celebrating Act Two is to help people in their dotage when you're over 50, when you're a senior. We got lots of great ideas. We've interviewed millions of people. On the other hand, we have a lot of more to share with you, right, Art? Yeah, and what happens is that we find lots of interesting stuff all the time. And uh, for a lot of you, we've been there and done it first. And so we just want to share with you stuff that we found interesting along the way. So what do we have for yeah. us, John? Well, the, interestingly enough, I was looking, I'm planning for travel uh, this spring and, and summer. Want to go see my granddaughter in Denver. And one of the things I f thought about was all the lines at the security um, uh, you know, the TSA. Mm -hmm. And I rem I remembered that we just did an interview with John Mariani, who is celebrating Act Two's expert when it comes to um, uh, food and travel. And in this particular episode, we're going to give you the link below. In this particular episode, John goes into the three best ways to avoid the lines mm -hmm. at the TSA at the airports. Very valuable stuff. I think if you're planning any travel this year, you gotta you gotta watch this video, and we'll give you the link before uh, down below so you can see it. Uh, Art, what was your favorite uh, tip this week? Yeah. So uh, next uh, up is um, uh, a lot of you know that I'm uh, uh, pretty much follow a vegan diet, and yep. uh, I get asked from time to time, well, uh, isn't it missing certain nutrients or things like that? where I get my protein from and so on and so forth. Uh, but a lot of other people, you know, when they're in their 50s and 60s already, and they just think they want to start it, is it safe? And uh, I've been practicing uh, uh, this uh, and following this kind of diet for about uh, 25, 30 years. So I can tell you that for me, it's safe. And my doctor is very happy with it and all my blood work that's come back. Uh, but if you want to uh, try it out, I would uh, suggest that you go to uh, search the internet, but I found this link, which will be down below. And it, it, it talks on say, is it safe to go vegan in older age? And yeah. uh, I, I think you'll find that the answer is yes, if you pay attention to it. And I'm going to give a spoiler alert. The only thing that you really can't get in a vegan diet is vitamin B12, and you can take supplements for that. Well, so That's good to know. So re the link will be below. If you're interested in vegan or plant-based diets or things like that, this is a good start. Yeah, good, uh, good, healthy, uh, healthy information. Okay. Um, all right. So my next thing was I was looking for a gift for um, grandma. I was looking for uh, the the grandkids to give something to grandma. Mm -hmm. I searched um, Etsy. I searched uncommongoods.com. I searched goodhousekeeping.com, and I ended up on Oprah. All right. And all of them had what they all did, by the way, if you search under gifts for grandma, they all collated lots of good ideas. But I came up with this idea. I wanted to share it. I thought this was terrific. It's called Letters to My Grandchild, Right Now, Read Later, Treasure Forever. Hmm. And it's a wonderful little novelty book. You, uh, you write a letter to your grandchild, a little note, like a postcard. And you send it off, and you've got it as a time capsule, a paper time capsule. It's just wonderful. Great gift idea um, if you're looking for something for somebody in the older generation. Hmm. Art, what's your next one? Well, uh, my uh, wife Linda and I uh, watched a, a movie uh, the other day, um, and it was very inspiring because for anybody who says, I don't think I can because I'm getting too old or shouldn't try something new. Uh, Nyad, which is the story of a woman by this, uh, she's older now, but she was in her 60s. She was retired from competitive swimming. She swam long distances. She always wanted to swim from Cuba to the U.S. Nobody had ever done it before. And there were people in their 20s and, and uh, 30s who just got exhausted and quit and never tried again. But here she was in the 60s, had been out of competitive swimming forever, for 20, 30 years. And um, uh, she made uh, four or five attempts in her 60s and finally made it. 
uh, at about the age of 64, 65. It just, it's a very inspiring movie about don't tell me you can't because yeah. you really can if you put your mind to it. Try stuff, even if you fail, yeah. try yeah. stuff. Uh, yeah. So why don't you, why don't you finish great, it off, John? Great recommendation, mm -hmm. inspirational movie. I remember Diane and I had, and the movie got, uh, obviously you loved it. It got good reviews. Right. I want us to leave everybody with a little smile on their face. And we've all seen the, uh, the crabby old Maxine cartoons. Mm -hmm. They're funnier than heck. Um, I found them on Facebook. Now, these mm. were created by a guy named uh, John Wagner for the Hallmark uh, greeting card company, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago. But they're so popular, it's unbelievable. I wanted to pass along to everybody this website, Facebook link, so you can go and have your own smile every day. Read, read this one to me. I've still got it, but nobody wants to see it. I love that. That's a typical Maxine. So right. everybody, have a great week. Have a great day. Enjoy yourself. Try some of our recommendations because I think, I think you'll find them useful. Share them with uh, your friends. And, and, and let, uh, as let, Maxine says, and let me finish like off by saying story. that if you find a, and all these things will be down below, but if you find something that you think that we or somebody in the audience will be interested in, please send us a link and uh, maybe we'll include it in the next uh, 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 episode of Gray Matters. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.